check it. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, line up. Okay. 
So if you're close enough to entice him to get, but far enough to reach, that there's one and a half to reach. That's where you want to be, right? Right? So, hey, uh, one of the guys, I think it was true. 
That looks like a scary chick. I don't want to have it. <laughs> All right. She does. <laughs> well, now she does, though. <laughs> so you're, could you get him a little bit closer? Get down that edge. Right. But with your hands up, not Mr. Growing up iron, I can take any picture you can grow. Too much, but what you'll do is you'll step back to pull them in. Yeah. 
that is to get them to over the stand. Okay, we can't, some of you guys can't do that. Okay, but never two steps. One step, preferably none. If you can get away with none, that makes it forward. Forward is better, okay? All right, go ahead. Uh, uh, and keep your eyes on me until you're turning your head. Uh, two more so bend the knees. Well, because before he's going straight, straight left. Yeah, that's what well, you might do that, right? Yeah, he trains you. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I throw straight left. <laughs> you can you can go under them. You can't go to the outside of them. Okay. Which is good. I mean this is this is good. We're trying to fix that. There you go. Okay. And because he's taller than you, under is always good. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's, you don't have to go under, but it's a good choice. Right. Yeah. Well, from that position, you could, you could do anything. Yeah. Right? You could do it on left. Don't get trapped in that. Yeah. There you go, good, yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, looking better. Okay, so next step, pick your favorite technique. Everybody pick in your head, pick your technique that you like and you are good at. Okay? Got it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. You're gonna be with your partners and you're gonna work that technique. And your job is is really mostly your partner's job to make it look real. Okay? So when you train in Shoshu, you know, when you train in the ear, you're visualizing an opponent, right? Okay. What's going on why do we do that? Why do we visualize? Okay, yeah, but what? Yeah, that's kind of it. Um, you're visualizing the situation. You're visualizing how your opponent will move. Okay, if I had him and I gutted him here, what would his body do? Would it stand there like that? No, no. no. He'd be way over, probably puking on the ground or something, right? Okay, he'd maybe be holding his hands in there, maybe something like that, right? right. Okay, but he's gonna have a body reaction of some sort, all right? Right. Okay, so when you're practicing in the air, you have to visualize that all the way, it, as realistic as you can, okay? What you're doing is you're training your reactive mind, okay? So if you're visualizing in the air that that body is going to, okay, if I learn, if I gut him here, he bends over, oh, I can hit him here, Okay, I can hit him there, maybe I can kick him in the face, because that's where he's going to be, right? And I think, oh, in the air, yeah, he's there, oh, he'll be, be there, his head will be there. And in my mind, I know where all those parts are, right? Okay? So, I'm creating that scenario in my mind. I'm practicing that in my mind as I do it. It's training the primal brain. Okay, so you have your prefrontal cortex, right, the front part of your brain that you use to think with, right? Okay, you have your primal brain, which is the part that reacts. Have you ever, ever knocked something <coughs> off of a, 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 a shelf and then you like, catch it real quick? Mm -hmm. Everybody's experienced that, right? Yeah. And you're like, wow, I'm like kung fu fast. You were like so fast and so like exactly dead on, right? Mm -hmm. It's like catching a fly out of the air, you were so perfect with it, right? And then you're like, yeah. Why were you so fast and so perfectly accurate with it? Small muscles just flapped out and grabbed it. 
It was mean? your subconscious mind. Your primal brain did it. That was triggered by your peripheral vision, right? right? Because your focal vision is connected to your prefrontal cortex. You have two vision centers in your brain. Yeah, it's in the front of your focal vision, prefrontal cortex. Your peripheral vision goes to the back of the brain, the reptilian brain, right? So what happened, you caught it out of the corner of your eye, it went to your reptilian brain, and that reptilian brain is dead on accurate and fast, right? right? How would you like to be that dead on accurate and fast all the time? That'd be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we're trying to do, okay? But you have to use your prefrontal cortex, your thinking brain, to figure it all out and then visualize it. And guess what the primal brain is doing when you're doing that? Simply recording. That's it. It doesn't really, it doesn't, not really, it doesn't think at all. Okay? It doesn't think. It simply records. Okay? Right? And you guys have all seen, like, you're in the country, you've seen lizards. Right? Yes. When a lizard makes its mind up to do something, it doesn't say anything. It's not going to do anything. It's like a the phrase. Okay, what is this? It doesn't decide. When it's going to do something, how quickly does it do it? Right. Well, it goes boom, 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 run fast, right? Mm -hmm. Why is that? That's all they have is the reptilian in the brain. They don't have anything else, right? right. So they're 100% operating off of the reptilian brain. And you can see the way they move is very fast, very accurate, right? You, you see even some insects. If you've ever watched like a, a dragonfly really close to what they're doing and they dart all over the place, you ever seen that? Watch what they're actually doing. You know why they burn? Huh? They're eating gnats. Every dart is grabbing a gnat. Gnats are much closer to what they're doing. They're predators. They're doing that. They're they're so they're only working on that little tiny insect brain, but they're that fast and are that accurate, much faster than you, right? Yeah. And it's much more accurate than you to be able to play the map out of here, right? Okay, because they're working using a very simple part of the brain. You have that part of the brain also, okay? But you have this big brain in front of it that's all around it, and it stops that reptilian brain from working. Okay? So that's things like using your focal vision, thinking about it, okay? internal dialogues, all of that stuff stops the reptilian brain. Okay? So the way to do it is you visualize your opponent as perfectly as you can, and then you train that reptilian brain in. Right? Now, how are you going to figure out what's perfect? How the body is really going to move? Huh? Your partner. That's right. That's your partner's job. And it's not an easy job. Okay? It's a difficult job to do. You have to figure out because you do stupid stuff, which is like just self preservation and all that. You're not really acting it up as well as you Okay? Now, have I made my point clear how important it is to act it up as well as you can? Yes. Okay? Because your partner's martial arts skills absolutely depend on it. Every mistake that you make as a dummy of not making it real, not putting it in real, is training something incorrectly into your partner's mind. Okay? When they go to do it, it will come out incorrectly. It will probably not work. Okay? Now, I have seen entire arts destroyed because of this one thing. They, they are out there, okay? And there's more than one completely destroyed because of this one thing done wrong. If that means done bad, okay? So don't let's. We're not going to do that. We're going to make sure that's correct, all right? Yes. Okay. So that's your job right now. Your partner has just picked their favorite technique. They're going to do that technique on you very slowly. And you're going to figure out if you were really hit like that, how would your body react? So where would you? Got it? Right. Don't do it fast because you can't figure it out. Do it slow. Okay? Once you've got it slow and you're feeling confident that that's the way it would be, then speed it up a little bit. You're not feeling comfortable, you're still in there, you're not reacting and changing it, speed it up a little bit more. 
feed it at very small increments and show that you've got it going five and two and you can do it safe. Got it? Done. So, good guy, your job to teach them how you're going to get them, right? Bad guy, your job to figure out how you would react. You got to hit that. <laughs> And that so comes to much. Really yeah, just stick with one spot. Yeah, make, it, make that one good. Is it so we do the, the thing? Or yeah, we'll do that later. Yeah. Oh. I mean, well, one is for your skills, and two is for your skills. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Without caring, you need to ask any questions. Okay, let's talk about the first most common mistake that the dummies make. Okay, if I was going to smash Angel in the face here, okay, but if I was going to punch her here, don't be anything, I'll hit you, okay? If I'm here and I want to punch anything, would I set my foot down like that? No. No way, alright? I'm going to go past her head, it would be more something like that. Yeah, my, I would punch, I would set through. There's no way, if I really had intent to hit her hard, that I would set my foot like that. Right? <coughs> Everyone would just sit that way. Okay? Completely unreal right from the start, right? Okay. Fix that. Thank you. So as the bad guy, your intent, you have to put in your head that you are the bad guy. That you intend on putting them in, hitting them in the head, or whatever it is you're doing. You intend on hitting them. Okay? They don't block. Right, that's more like it, huh? Yeah. So that it changed me. it, didn't it? Yeah, and it also showed me what I did wrong. <laughs> well, okay, so here's. You guys, here's what happens. Mr. Ray was making that mistake, everybody was making that mistake, right? So he came in, and you're doing, I'll be back there for a second. I'm going to, okay, so I'm here punching. I set it down, and he continues his technique. Good. Okay, so I was here, right? And then he corrected it, and he punched through, and then what happened? Uh-oh, oh, his technique's wrong. Yeah. Right? He totally couldn't get it anymore, could he? You see what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, because of that one little mistake of not intending to punch, setting the foot down, he now trained it like the guy was going to be out there. And that's not right, is it? Now, you guys have done that when you've partnered with each other almost every single time you've partnered up. How many times have you tried to talk your partner wrong? we got a problem here, right? Yes. Okay. All right, fix it. Still behind, huh? You had a trick in. Okay, so when he comes in here, let this thing come out here. Yeah, I just whip it out. There you go. Now you have to rush it. Yeah. If you try to rush it, you gotta let that turn, and then you'll have a lot a lot better when he comes in directly, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
doing a little bit of like glancing at those maps. Okay, so it is really trying to get you that going on the corner. Yeah, I just I got a really that's all that big old brain that's around that reptilian brain getting in the way of it. Get rid of his key eyes. You guys, that's a point that I've probably made several times, but I don't know if it's come across as that. Your eyes actually trigger different parts of your brain to shut on and off. Okay? Everybody told you that before? No? Okay. So, uh, do uh, Rising Me, Mr. Hellier. Go ahead. Persuade me, what did his eyes do? His eyes look up. Why did your eyes look up? You were triggering the remembering part of your brain that you didn't remember the technique. So you thought, where's that technique? You were looking up there through the files. Guys? Right? You follow me? They're not really files, they just go along with the analogy, right? Maybe it's just a trash. I don't know. Electronic database, how's that? Okay. But what do you mean? He, he looked up here trying to remember the He's trying to retrieve the memory. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The problem is, is that trying to retrieve the memory becomes a habit. Now when that somebody throws a punch, you're like, where's that at? It's not a good thing, is it? No, okay. you're already hit. You're already hit. You're trying to access the wrong brain, right? Okay. Some people will look down to ponder it. Okay? They're just thinking in a different way. This is activated. This is looking, depends if you're a visual thinker or auditory thinker, you're looking at different places. Up there, there's visual sense. Okay? You're looking inside the head for it, visual learning. Okay? Um, the only place that you do not trigger the wrong parts of the brain his eyes exactly straightforward. That's why I'm always on you guys about not looking at things or, or down, uh, looking at the punch or anything. Eyes exactly straightforward through your phone. Okay? That puts your brain in ready state. Okay? That's the point where any part of the brain can now fire off quickly. Okay? So control of your eyes is absolutely essential. Okay? Alright. Because the eyes, it's like a switch. Right? I'm going to turn this part on. I'm going to turn this part on. Okay? Don't turn this part on. Alright, go ahead.
Good. Good. Throw that hand up there, right? Much better. Feel that. Oh, I 
Mr. Hallier, you are running away from him. Do you think, now that he's going to think that all people come in like this and run that for you when they throw a punch? He doesn't think that logically, but it's self-conscious. So it doesn't have any fun. You don't want to destroy the front door. He is the up on the street. He's going to come in and I feel like it's weird. 
Guys, train your cover outs in also, right? right. If you do this great all the time, and you take this guy down, and you just like this all the time, and think, oh, just cover out one time. Is that going to work? No. 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 You will do what you train. So train your cover out as a part of the move. Okay? Assume that there's his buddy's coming next. Whatever technique you're at, you're down here. Come up, block, right? But you do it in a dark out, there's nobody else around. Who cares if you look stupid? Nobody saw it, right? <laughs> yeah. It does look stupid anyway. Yeah. Bring your hands up first. Hands up. Got it? Hold on. I thought I Hands up. No. From here. You got it? Okay. Huh? It doesn't matter, right? As long as you're away from it. Okay. Yeah, come in. We can jump over that for all I care. I don't care. I don't care which way you come around. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Just roll your finger. 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 Just Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Who's brave enough? Brave enough to film with us? Nope. Today is. Nope. It's the first one. Five. Uh, it's the first one. Yeah. Let's get today to do it. What? Yeah, an angel after that. An angel. All right, guys. Yeah, I would have an angel. Yeah. Angel turns into the race. That'd be Thank <laughs> you. 